It is now. I can see it now. Thank you. So, I am Kyoko. I am Kyoko. Great honor to share our experience of the third color digital art and lighting symposium and workshop. So the purpose of this oral paper is twofold. Firstly, to define the elements that are necessary for the future of international digital art workshops and symposia. Secondly, to identify the advantages and the problems and apply them to the future organizations. So here are key words, the digital art, lighting, color, remote learning, ubiquitous. So uh, here's, um, please consider this as the empirical case study of how a digital art telesymposium and the student work workshop can be held remotely. From, um, in fact, uh, it was actually from the end of November 2020 to March 20, 2021, uh, Shibara Institute of Technology and my lab is called Color Communication Design Lab. And in Thailand, the Assumption University, uh, <clears throat> the school of, um, the school of, um, the Montfort School of Architecture and Design co-hosted the telesymposium and the workshops. So, and I, I'm really hoping this, uh, the paper will give some uh, the insight how to integrate art and technology in a remote workshop. So, and um, yeah, here's the uh, essential aspect of the remote workshop that uh, like, uh, like the first presentation, the last, presentation. Uh, this was also the originally, uh, it's, it was supposed to be held face to face, either in Bangkok or Tokyo. And um, so, but um, due to the uh, needless to mention over and over, um, due to the pandemic that we have to have the like, remotely and also like uh, telesymposium. So the motivation um, it's kind of related to have the a common team to do the co-production, and also uh, we have to we had to create a kind of easygoing collaborative project experience because uh, if it's too complicated or it, if it's hard to communicate, it is really hard to produce all together uh, all of us together, and the how the and also the to the to show the result to the public like this kind of opportunity. So about these are the kind of how the impact of the giving the students the vision to present what they have learned and also what they have created and um, in these remote classes to the world. First of all, I would like to quote the Carnegie, uh, Andrew Carnegie. Yeah, he spoke of the importance of teamwork and shared vision. Teamwork is the ability to work together towards a common vision. The ability to direct individual, in, in, individual accomplishment towards organizational objectives. It is a field that allows the common people to attain the uncommon result. So I really believe that in the, uh, his statement. So, and. Uh, we all had to have the uh, the common team, but uh, overall team, we for the first one and uh, for the second workshop, we had um, the themes. Uh, the for the first theme was the colorful playground for children, and the second theme, second one was the illuminate, and the first one was held in Tokyo, and the second one was held in Bangkok, and third one, uh, virtual remote conference. So the ground theme for this time was the, as I said, uh, in, I, it's titled Ubiquitous, Ubiquitous Lighting. And also not only having the, the, the ground theme for everyone, but also we 
kind of really uh, allocated some like a six, seven student into one group. And uh, we had uh, four different groups and uh, the, they all had a uh, group themes as well. And um, these are the, the kind of subtitles of uh, the ground theme. The ubiquitous title is the, the overall theme, but the hello world, information ethics, telepresence, networked cultural light. The first three groups, they have gathered uh, in Bangkok groups, they had uh, worked all together uh, face to face, but uh, they had a hybrid uh, classrooms. So uh, like from China, the Vietnam, and uh, I think from Cambodia, there some students had to connect from uh, the remotely. The, the, those are the, they are the assumptions university students. And for the SIT, the Shibara Institute of Technology, Tokyo side also joined from uh, using uh, the Microsoft um, Teams software. So what is ubiquitous? Ubiquitous means that seeming to be everywhere in several places at the same time, like the, this kind of opportunity, like we all share. And, and also ubiquitous means very common. So it's like omnipresent. So and, um, this is the kind of like aim we like to share. And here's a kind of configurations. So Assumption University, uh, Montfort School of, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> the Montfort Uni uh, School of uh, the Design and the Architecture. And also they had not only that the Thai student, but also <laughs> they had a student from various nations. And um, from um, the lectures we hear from Assumption University, and we all uh, submit the, uh, the Tokyo, Tokyo Ice students, they had to submit the uh, presentations and also the reports, uh, such as like report papers. And also we, the, in Tokyo side, we uh, hold a symposium by Zoom. And uh, in Shibara Institute of Technology, we have two campuses. The one is in Omir, which is uh, outskirts of Tokyo, and Shibara campus, which uh, my lab is, is in central Tokyo. So we have a set two separate campus. And um, of course, due to the COVID-19, that uh, we had to have a um, kind of remote classes, even, even both in both, um, like we all both campus, uh, in talk in Japan, and um, they are the, some of the staff members. Uh, this photo was taken in the first uh, first workshop on the symposium. So, so it used to be uh, had a we had a the symposium and those the workshop like face to face locally, but um, it's now like uh, under the COVID-19. So that uh, after the pandemic, we had to have the everything in remote. So in the Shibara side, we have a network specialist. And I'm also, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, my, my specialization is about the color theory, lighting, and also uh, the kind of digital art and um, mostly the graphic designs. So and we had a three teaching a TAs, uh, teaching assistants. And the here's a communication platforms that we use that uh, for the hybrid workshop, we use the Microsoft Teams. And um, like we have right now that we, for the tele-symposium broadcasting, uh, live streaming that we use the tele-symposium, the Zoom software. And here are the posters for uh, the, the symposium. So we have invited the two speakers for the symposium. And it was the, uh, the opportunity. The symposium is not only the opportunity to present the student works, but also the, hear the, some specialist uh, insights and the critique, and also having a, some like exchange of the, the Q&A time. And um, the, as you see on the left, excuse me, as you see on the left that, that 
uh, it's an app called the Mupic, uh, which is downloadable on, um, from uh, both Android and uh, iPhone. Now, here is the, uh, <coughs> the uh, uh, synesthesia type uh, application that if you take photo, it, turn, it makes that uh, it generates the music. And on the other hand, like uh, Mr. Uh, Nakagawa, uh, who is the, uh, who used to be working for the national uh, broadcasting station, and uh, he uh, won the first uh, one of the first uh, first prizes for the uh, projection mapping award in Tokyo. So he his theme for that uh, projection mapping was the uh, shape of sounds. So they discussed on the uh, the uh, visualizing uh, no sonification or. Um, like making sound out of the picture uh, there was talked by uh, the Mr. Miki and um, the Mr. Nakagawa talked about the, the shape of the sound. So visualization of sound. So they have a talk, their topic was a multimodal of, and also the interaction of, of uh, the, our senses. And then we had a student presentation and the first group, the Hello World, here is a video. Team, uh, that theme was called the Whatever Light. So they use the motion sensor and the third group, the magic donation box.
the last team in Thailand was the cultural light. Everyone in this group are did this the, did this workshop remotely, so they used the old Zoom. But about the one the uh, two only two students in Thailand they have assembled every single uh, yeah lighting and also the all the signals. On the coronavirus, the United States is reporting the highest number of deaths in a single day, nearly 1,500. We've had the latest coronavirus figures for the United Kingdom. Tell you what they are, Meetings in many languages will appear. So, and also the in Shibara Institute, uh, Japan. Kyoko, Kyo, Kyo, just to say, you've got one minute left, okay? Okay, yeah, just a two, three more slides. So, that's okay. It. So, the, uh, they had a, uh, also the uh, interactive lighting, the, their, they had a, their own experiments. And also, like, uh, um, the, here's our team, the, they did the, uh, the work called that planetary orbit to symbolize the workshop. So questions we have, uh, like uh, we asked that these question to the speaker. And um, here's um kind of summarize the, uh, the advantage and problems during the uh, the series of the workshop and the symposium. Um, he kind of uh, Mr. Nakagawa, one of the speakers, stated the willingness to share the goals together is to the, the key to achieve that uh, the remote work. And also the, but advantage is no trouble required and problems physically difficult to build together, tangible and uh, difficult to interact after hours to have the kind of uh, the friendships together. So here's a conclusion, the future in which the sharing the vision and the hybridization of the vi virtual and the real even remotely will surely continue to grow. And uh, Nakagawa explained that two aspects of the future, future he sees, the one is environmental future and also that our side are uh, really that our conscious consciousness towards the what the virtual and uh, and how to work interact together is also uh, it's changing. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. Well, Kyoko, thank you so much for that fascinating talk. And I think particularly these uh, 